Hey, Ryan here from RyanRabon.com, and today's video, we're going to be going over split testing your capture pages, your landing pages, your squeeze pages, basically the pages that people put their emails in, all right? So stick around. Before I go ahead and get started, I want you guys to go ahead and log into your YouTube account. That way, when you go to the bottom right of this video, you can see that notification bell. And I want you guys to go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Because on this YouTube channel, I'm going to be going over product tutorials, reviews, and also how you can make money from home and what products you can easily promote on the internet as an online marketer. And since you're at that area anyway and you're just chilling in that area, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel, all right? And also, before I forget, you know, if you're looking to make some passive income, I have my number one recommended source to making money from home in the description box below. So go check that out after the video, all right? And today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can split test your capture pages using Click Magic. All right, guys, we're back here in the back office of Click Magic. So once you sign in, you know, you can be able to get to this, uh, to this uh, screen right here, right? And... Um, you know, some of you guys might be asking, you know, you know, what's the reason somebody, what is split testing and what's the reason why somebody would want to split test their capture pages, right? Well, first to start off, let's, let's figure out what the sole purpose is of a capture page. And the sole purpose of a capture page is to capture some type of information from a potential lead or from your audience, right? And it could be an email, it could be your name, a name, it could be a phone number, it could be you know any one of these combinations or just one of them themselves you know but its main purpose is really just capture um, some kind of information from a from your audience right and the best way to really capture um, that information is you want to entice your audience you want to you know create curiosity with them you you know you want to draw them in where they want where they want to you know they're, they're going to exchange you know this information for what you have to offer because you know you you just you just created that much curiosity on on your capture page right so i mean um different things that you can test on your capture pages as, as far as split testing you know you want to create two two main um two pages that look very similar you know the only thing that you may want to actually try to change is maybe you want to change you know the picture in the background or maybe you want to change the color of the backgrounds, right? And keep the same um, copy and keep the same, you know, opt-in forms and buttons and all that stuff, right? Or, or maybe you want to, you know, keep the background, keep the swipe copy, and maybe just change the buttons from, you know, red and blue, and blue to red, or whatever. Which one you want to see? Which one is more appealing to your audience, right? And you know, the reason you know really want to split test is to see which one converts better which capture page converts better. And the only way you're gonna find out is through your audience. Your audience is gonna tell you what type of capture page or what kind of swipe copy that you're gonna use or that you use that's gonna be, you know, is gonna best uh, um, be for your, uh, it's gonna be the best one out of the two, all right? So um, really quick, we're gonna go really quick to, um, let's switch it up to, let me show you here really quick, uh, how do we do that? So we're gonna go into that right now. <laughs> Give me one second, all right, guys. Um, all right, so you want to create a new link, right? And uh, create link. We're just gonna do a test. You know, that's the one, two, three, four. Um, I don't know. It could be CP one split, right? Now, um, get the primary URL. You know, I already have one here, right? So, so this is the two capture pages that I have, you know, white background, red button, um, enter your name, email address, um, swipe copy. This is the second one. Somewhat similar to swipe copy, but just a little bit different. If you could tell the difference between 10,000 and then 10K, you know, underlining and stuff like that. So those are some things that you can really um, test out. This one has the blue button. This one has no name. All right. So those are two things that you want to test. So um, you can now my recommendation for you is like I've tested these capture pages many times so my recommendation to you is to, to test one thing at a time so for instance um, you know you have the white background and you have say for instance you stick with the same swipe copy and you know um, just change up the button maybe the blue button or the red button might you know appeal to your audience more you know or maybe you take out the your name out of it and you take you test the same one all right, or maybe you know, instead of ten thousand, you could just write ten k, or a, maybe even an underline. You know, test one thing at a time and figure out if that converts better. You know, I'll, that's just that's just the only way that you're gonna be able to know 
which one is um, what works, what doesn't work, what's more appealing. Because you know it's going to take some time. You know it, it's really going to take some time when it comes uh, to split testing and figure out what really works for your audience. Okay. All right. So back to split testing and 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 creating the link. All right. You want to get the first capture page, the first link, right? So just copy it and paste it here. All right. Now after you're done, you want to hit create link. Okay. Now once you create that link over here, see that link, that link's down here. Once you create that link, once you go over here to gear, and you're gonna hit split testing. Now this is really simple to tell you the truth, right? Now you go to the second capture page that you want to split test with. Go ahead and copy that, and go paste that over here in the second part. Right now, you want to give it a name. So for instance, um. Since this one's already named primary URL, URL, I'll name this one blue button because it's just something simple. You know, you could just put blue button here. All right, and now what is the weight here is you want to weight 50-50. This is basically, you know, um, wait, oh, oh, sorry. You want to basically um, you want it to test 50 because what this is going to do it's going to run it's going to run it's going to run at 50 percent of each one, right? And instead of like uh, 75, 50. I mean, it's up to you. Whatever you want to do, run 50 percent, right? And then you hit add. Now it's going to come up. It's going to be so it's going to distribute these two capture pages 50 percent. Uh, between the uh, the whole entire funnel when you're running clicks to your audience, right? So then you could just then you're done here, right? And now actually, you know what? If you want, you want to know which one of the two is the winner. You can go ahead and click yes. So and Click Magic is going to actually email you uh, which of the two converted best. All right. So then once you're done with that, okay. Um, now all you gotta do is really just uh, what do you call it? You just uh, test it out. You know what I mean? Here, let's do. Make sure it's in there. All right, it's good. And preview the R URL. Now every time you hit it, see this one came up with the blue one. Every time you hit it, it's gonna come up with a different, with a with a different uh, with a different one. It should come up different. Um, so it just so happens that it, the both times it came out blue. All right. See this one is red now. All right. So every time you hit it, it's gonna just 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 distribute a different one. And you know that's just the way you're going to be able to split test which one work, which one's going to come out better, right? So the results for that one, um, when I got, one one, and I lost it. Oh. oh, here it is. So the results that I got for this, um, <clears throat> for these two is this one actually, right? I got 564 on the red button and 501 on the blue button. So this would be telling me, I mean, it's really pretty close, but the red one, actually the first one, the primary URL, it, 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 was, um, it got more hits, it got more clicks, more opt-ins, more, I know what I'm saying. So, you know, that's one way, like I said, you could really just test, test split test, which uh, capture page um, works better. So what I did with these two was, I actually just ran each one, you know, again, um, individually, and they both uh, did pretty well as far as um, my conversions and opt-ins. All right. So, um, well, that's it, guys. I mean, that's how you really split test. You know, if you got value from this, you know, let me know in the description box below or in the comment section. You know, and if you if you like the video, you know, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. All right, and share this out if you think somebody you know you know somebody that might benefit from this as well. You know what I'm saying, and also, like I said, leave some comments. Um, leave some comments in the comment section. And let me know how what you thought about the video. If there's something that you want me to do a review. On, let me know and also in the, in the comment section and like I said and like I said mentioned before you know if if you're looking for some passive income or to make passive income you know I have my number one recommended source in the description box below so look out for that link all right I'll talk to you guys later and I'll see you on the next video peace <laughs>